Hey there, everybody. It's Steve at My Cheap Skills and uh, making an updated video here on my screen porch library. And um, this is being done here in X14. And the greatest thing about X14 now is when you switch to vector view, which I'll do right now, you can see through the screen and see the door behind it. And uh, that is a great improvement. I appreciate that from Chief. And um, we've all been wanting that for a long time. So I've got three porches drawn here. This one's got guardrails. The, the great thing about this is these are railing walls, okay? And in this library, there's all sorts of stuff that you can use to uh, create interesting looking screen porches. Um, but I think the most common is probably just something with a little arch in it. But look, you can just use replace from library, click, and you have a different screen porch wall and look. So um, here's one with Craftsman. You just take it, click, replace from library. So you can experiment with your design. And um, there you go. I'm on a Mac, so things might look a little different. But here, this is on a deck, okay? And I have these mid-rail panels, which are going to be pretty common, too. So um, mid-rail full screen. So you can just go back to the basics right here like that and um, click and boom, you've you've got your design. So uh, if you want a little arch on the top here, you just click. It's the same panel with an arch. And there you go. But the. And the nice thing about this, the way it works, is that you can just take a door, and the doors are included in the library here, and just take one here with an arch top so it'll match, and just click and place it. And there you go. And you can move it, put it where you want, just like any door symbol in Chief. And uh, it just adjusts the railing wall. So... It's a great thing. It speeds up drawing screen porches. It looks great. It looks great in standard view or vector. And there's all sorts of different door styles, etc. So um, there's something with like a Victorian look. The other thing you have to remember is if you stretch this door out, it turns into a double door. Uh, I mean, it's just like a, any door symbol in chief. So you can do a lot with it. Um, I wanted to quickly show you how these work to draw. So yeah, let's draw one on this end right here. I would just go here to chief wall, the wall types right here, screen walls. And um, here's one simple with a mid rail. All right. And draw. Click. I'm right clicking for continuous mode and just draw like this. And then I'm going to make this a deck. And we'll get a, a warning because I've got auto foundations on. So probably when I click this now, I turned it off. So so uh, there's your deck. And now I need a roof over it. And I have auto roofs on. So I'm just going to go to the structure tab and say, yes, put a roof over this room. Flat ceiling. And there you go. And I can even change this here to a gable. So let's just take a look at this porch. This is what you get once you draw it. And there you have it. And... Uh, that's pretty simple. And the one thing, the way it's set up is it's set up for these decks here to be structurally have moved the floor down four inches. And you can adjust all this, but this is the way it is out of the box. So if you look here, uh, now my, my panel is right here underneath my beam. But and that's how it's set up to do to work. But you can adjust everything because this is a railing wall. So if you open it, you can go over here. See, here, here's the height, 101 and an eighth. So if you have a different room, you can adjust the height right here and make it all work. But again, you can just take um, uh, panels now. Here's some historic panels. Here's Jefferson. Let's see what this looks like. It's been a while since I looked at all these, but. Yeah, there you go. And you can take these and adjust the um, the spacing. Maybe we just change this to like 72, you know, and it'll look maybe a little better. So um, let's see what else we got here. There's another Jefferson. So there you go. It's just a little different, but it's got the arch on it. So uh, 
I thought I'd mention that and show you guys how this works. It's uh, the easiest way to draw a screen porch and you can purchase this right off my website. Let's take a look at that. So here's my website, www.mychiefskills.com. This will be the page you go to. And then here's, yes, I want to purchase it. It's all sorts of information about the library here, how it looks, etc. And it was created in X12. So if you have, actually, you can even get a version for X11. So if you have X11, X12, X13, X14, this screen porch will work. Just click here on the red. Yes, I want to purchase. It'll take you to this page. 60 bucks. Trust me, it'll be the best money you ever spent. There's no easier way to draw a screen porch. So that's that. Um, thanks for watching and check out my website. I also do one on one training. So you can come here and purchase training from me. I trained a lot of people and uh, be glad to help you. So thanks for watching and see you next time.